Hello, my beautiful YouTube family and friends. A warm welcome to each and every one of you. I hope you're well and having a fantastic day. So today is quick lunch preparation. We felt like having banku with hot pepper and an assortment of crisply fried seafood. So there they are. And I'm going to be preparing a quick dry rub to season and spice up my seafood prior to frying. So in this bowl, I have poured in some kosher salt crushed black pepper and my all-purpose seasoning homemade which you will be able to substitute with one chicken bouillon cube i will be sharing the recipe with you pretty soon so thank you in advance for your patience and waiting so in this bowl here i have the following seafood which is a combination of tiger bodia and lady carp a quick sprinkle of the dry rub and make sure it is coated evenly throughout. So toss it up and down and your oil should be hot enough by now. I'm going to test my oil with a small sprig of rosemary. Once I see that sizzle, it's ready to receive the seasoned fish. Once it gets in there, you want to give it a quick stir so they don't stick together. So while the first batch of fish is frying till crispy, I'm going to season my white pomfrets. Those are the flat looking, uh, silver looking fish, as well as my yellow striped tree valley fish. And you know, I just went to the fish market and I found an assortment of fish, picked them up. I just wanted very small pieces of fish that will fry crispy. So any fish at all you have, you can fry this way, all right? So they are also ready. Now checking on the first batch, you see crispiness and you hear it too. So we take them out of the oil. And I have lined my colander with some paper towels so that the excess oil is drained off into it. Perfect. The oil is still hot, so we're going to fry the next batch. And the goal is to fry each type of fish I have today till crispy. So we are just almost there with these as well. Ready, take them out of the oil and the next batch will be going in pretty soon. So I also have some squid tentacles that I will be frying as well. I love those, my children love them too. And I'll be giving them a slightly different um, treatment. So keep on watching and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already done so. And thank you so much in advance. So here goes the yellow stripe tree valley fish. Those are slightly thicker, so they'll fry a little uh, longer until they are crispy and so I fried them separately and the last batch of seafood I will be frying today is some squid tentacles which my children totally love I'm giving it a different slightly different treatment so I've added some cornstarch to the rest of my dry rub and um, combined it evenly now I'm going to pour that onto the squid tentacles you see here and if you end up doing the same thing, using the same kind of seafood, once you mix the, the uh, dry rub with the cornstarch into the, the squid tentacles, they seem to form together, almost stick together. Don't worry at all. Once it goes into the oil and you give it a stir, it will separate it nicely for you. So our uh, yellow striped tree valley fish are ready they come out of the oil. So they are rather crispier outside, but they stay kind of moist inside because they are meatier than the rest of the fish we fry today. Perfect. These will go so well with this soft banku and pepe. Oh my goodness. Bango, papa. All right, so here goes the squid tentacles. 
And the key tip with those is the oil must remain very hot, all right? So that they don't steam or comfy. You want them to cook really crispy. So keep your oil hot, all right? And then stir it immediately. They go in and you should be having some really crispy squid tentacles. It shouldn't take long at all to fry these. Done, ready. We are almost ready to serve, y'all. Yeah, very quick lunch. This is a Cook With Me episode, so I appreciate you joining us today. I hope your mouth is watering and you are inspired to try this recipe for you and your loved ones. And of course, you can use this recipe as a guide to fry any miniature sort of seafood. It will work on any kind of seafood at all you have. Yes, miniature or not. And what I love about the dry rub is the simplicity of it allows the actual character of whatever you're frying to stand out. And we know that seafood tends to have a mild, clean flavor. And usually you would want to not pack a punch of flavor into it to mask the, the character of it, right? So that dry rub will do exactly that for you. Here is our banco, which is made with uh, fermented cassava and fermented corn dough combination, cooked with water and a little seasoning, salt that is, until it forms into a dumpling. It's soft and it's very delicious with crispy fried seafood like this. This is a Ghanaian plate of absolute happiness okay <laughs> so i have some sliced onions tomatoes and some jalapeno chilies that i have seeded and I'm, here is my green chili sauce it's a combination of tomatoes onions a little bit of uh, lime juice just a little bit some salt to season crushed black pepper and also um, some jalapeno chilies and some bakujito or petit bell chilies listen to this crunch Look at how soft the bangkok is. Oh my goodness gracious, y'all. Need to try this recipe. You'll love, 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 love it. It is chop time. And over here in Anabas Kitchen, chop time is yes, friends. So pull up a chair because we are all friends here, friends and family. I really appreciate you. I enjoyed spending yeah, some time with you today. Make sure that you try this recipe for you and your family. You will love it. And thank you so much for joining us today here in Anabas Kitchen. I hope you make it a great day. And as always, have fun, especially in that kitchen. See you soon.